Finally, it has happened. The Tesla Optimus robot has officially received a new upgrade. One of the most important upgrades Elon has emphasized many times, its hands. You may not know this, but the hands of the Tesla bot are considered by experts to be the best in the industry, just slightly inferior to human hands, just a little. This means that a total out of 50 tasks we can perform with our hands, Tesla bot can do about 35 to 40 of them. My goodness, that is truly unbelievable that we can finally buy it for $20,000. Learn more about Optimus's hands and its capabilities right now. Let's talk about the design first. As we can all see, the next-gen robot hand has nearly reached peak refinement in terms of design. You can compare this directly in the video. On the left is the new generation hand, while the right still features the older version. The older version still exposes some cables and actuators, whereas we were absolutely amazed to see that the new hand is almost completely enclosed. What we mean is that nothing is exposed anymore. Even the fingers no longer reveal joints as clearly as they do on the right hand side. It's about design. Looking at the new hand, we immediately thought about Optimus potentially washing dishes or even doing laundry. Its new hands seem far more water resistant compared to the old ones. They almost look like they've been covered by gloves, which might be the answer for customers who once doubted whether or not Optimus could handle tasks involving water. Moving on to the technical aspects and functionality of the new hand, we've read and heard Elon's claims about it being able to thread a needle, play the piano, or even perform more complex tasks. Sounds almost unbelievable, doesn't it? However, after carefully observing the new hand's capabilities in the demo video, we now understand why Elon's so confident. Specifically, as you can see, the Tesla bot demonstrates its ability to catch a tennis ball with its new hand. It catches the ball with remarkable precision and maintains a firm grip once it's in the hand. Milan Kovac, the lead engineer of the Tesla Optimus project, shared a detailed explanation about the robot's new hand on X. Clearly, these are the most genuine insights about the bot's new hands. He admitted that Optimus was still being remotely controlled in Tesla's labs when playing basketball, but you gotta understand, he mentioned it was in real time. My goodness, teleoperated almost seems harder than having the bot actually do it. Crazy that the teleportation system can have this kind of responsiveness to be able to do this. Typically, robots controlled remotely experience signal delays. What we mean is there's usually more latency. However, as we've seen, Optimus reacts incredibly quickly with minimal lag, and that's the standout feature here. In this new hand design, Milan confirmed that all the actuators are concentrated in the forearm, mimicking human tendons. The advantage of this design is that it makes the hand lighter and more flexible in operation. According to us, this is not just a new hand, but Optimus can track randomly moving targets and demonstrate the dexterity to grab them, an impressive development compared to just a couple months back. In this update, we believe Tesla wants to emphasize the dexterity of the hand as it positions Optimus as a versatile humanoid assistant capable of performing nearly any task that a human can do. As Elon has said, So it can um, be a teacher, babysit your kids, it can walk your dog, mow your lawn, get the groceries, just be your friend, serve drinks, um, whatever you can think of, it will do. All right, we don't deny that the Optimus robot really stole the show at Tesla's RoboTaxi launch event. Now, in theory, the We Robot event was supposed to be all about the RoboTaxi as it was the main focus of the event. However, when Elon brought out a group of humanoid robots in front of the crowd, that's when we realized the true stars of the show were those robots. None of us could have imagined that Tesla would be generous enough to bring around 50 robots and two brand new fully autonomous cars to the event, giving us all a chance to experience it firsthand. Yes, they were incredibly impressive beyond anyone's expectations. Although Tesla only brought out around 50 robots, the company may have already bought hundreds. Musk confirmed that integrating technology already developed for Tesla's EVs into Optimus has allowed the company to move faster than usual, meaning Tesla didn't have to build Optimus from scratch, but rather leveraged existing technology to quickly ramp up towards the goal of making thousands of units by next year. According to Elon Musk, advanced technologies like battery systems, motors, power electronics, and AI from Tesla's vehicles can also be applied to the humanoid robots. So Everything we've developed for our cars, the batteries, power electronics, uh, the advanced motors, gearboxes, the, the software, the, uh, the AI inference computer, it all actually applies to a humanoid robot. 
Elon stated that even the Cybercab's RoboTaxi and RoboVan can be considered robots, but they're just robots on wheels. Creating an Optimus robot with arms and legs enables it to perform tasks in spaces designed for humans, like climbing stairs, using tools, and interacting with objects. Since launched, we only saw Optimus doing simple tasks like folding shirts, holding eggs, or sorting 4680 batteries off the assembly line. These tasks were a bit too basic for user expectations. Most people wanted to do much more, and more importantly, they want to see the practical utility and features of Tesla's robot in real-world scenarios rather than just through Tesla's update videos. So, the recent Wii Robot event marked the first time people could touch, interact with, and witness Optimus out outside a controlled setting. Before, Tesla had brought its robot to an exhibition in China, but unfortunately it was just the prototype displayed behind glass. Now, you may have noticed, but bringing a robot that's still in the research and development phase out to the real world is actually kind of a risky move for Tesla, even if the event was mostly attended by investors, guests, and us Tesla fans. Introducing the Optimus Gen 2 robots, which are not yet fully refined, could lead to less than ideal experiences for customers. Tesla also has consistently warned about technology copying, meaning that competitors could get a close look at Optimus's technology. So we think that the manufacturer took a pretty big risk by showing off Optimus, but it would have been a big oversight to exclude these humanoid robots from the Wii Robot event. Although there's still a lot of work to do, it's surprising to see more complex tasks that these robots can handle. We're not exaggerating to say that scenes like this belong in sci-fi movies about robots. Terminator 2, anyone? Now, one robot can open the trunk of a car and bring your groceries to the kitchen. It can also clean the kitchen, receive packages from the Amazon ferry, check them, bring them inside, or even pour water for guests whenever you have company over. This means that a lot of household tasks can be handled by these robots, even when you're gone for a long time. When you come back home, everything's still neat and tidy, your pets are taken care of, and the grass on the lawn is cut. Oh my goodness, just like Elon always says, the future looks like the future. Musk never hesitated to say that the reservation list for Optimus is going to be huge, especially since 8 billion people across the world want their own Tesla bot, as he mentioned at the event. Because I think everyone of the 8 billion people of Earth, I think everyone's going to want their Optimus buddy. And there's going to be some, maybe two. We don't want to sound overly confident or keep repeating that Tesla's truly developing the best robot compared to the competition, but that's a reality that no one can deny. These past few months, a surprising number of robotic companies have popped up in China and North America. Some companies, like Unitree Robotics, are even bold enough to sell a robot, the Unitree G1, for 16 grand complete with some pretty impressive specs. But so far, it's just a promo video. On the other hand, Boston Dynamics, which has been ahead of Tesla for decades now and famous for their Atlas robot, never actually released it to the real world. They decided to scrap it and develop a next-gen of more efficient robots. Tesla, a company that specializes in electric vehicle production, managed to create three different generations of robots in less than three years and has even been able to get a large number of these robots in customers' hands for them to try out. That's a pretty significant difference, even without considering the technology. Thanks for watching our video. If you found the content helpful and want to explore more exciting content about Tesla's electric vehicles, be sure you hit that like button and share this video. Also, make sure you're subscribed to Tesla Car World and turn those notifications on. That way you'll never miss out our latest videos. We appreciate your support and hope to see you back here soon. Thanks so much for watching. Take care, stay safe, and God bless you.